Hey everybody, Davey here from Davey's World Fishing. Today I'm gonna to introduce you to the brand new Okuma Inspira ISXA version that's gonna be coming out for 2024. Stay tuned. <laughs> Now the brand new Inspira ISX A series is actually the third version of the Inspira that's out by Okuma. First one came out probably 15 years ago. They came out with the Inspira ISX, which came out I wanna say probably eight years ago and that came in the either the white and silver or the blue and silver, which they just discontinued. And for this year, this is going to be the ISX a version. So third version of Inspira, this is going to be the second version of the ISX version of the Inspira, if that makes any sense to you at all. So this is going to be a 2024 iCast introduction. So it'll be hitting this year in 2023, but an iCast introduction for what they're calling their 2024 introductions. Confusing, I know. But it's going to be an awesome little reel by Okuma, nine total ball bearings in this reel great features. Let's walk through it and take a little bit of a look here. The reel I happen to have in my hand here, this is called the C5000XA. So this is a ultra high speed, large capacity reel built for your inshore fishermen or anybody on the freshwater side that wants something with a bit more capacity to it. This particular reel, you got about 245 yards of 12 pound monofilament. So if you put that into braided specs, you know, you can figure that out pretty easily. 300 plus yards of say 30 pound braid. Now what's unique about this reel is it's got this cool rubberized gnarled area right inside the spool there. So you don't necessarily have to use any backing when you're tying on your braid. It'll actually bind up and catch right on that little rubberized section. And you don't sacrifice any capacity when they have that on the reels. So let's take a look at this top of reel and we'll work our way down. So that's the gnarled part right inside the fully machined aluminum two-tone spool. You can see that spool looks really, really cool by the way with that gold and black. But taking a look at the top there, this reel does feature the hydro block water gasket system. The drag itself is a steel, stainless steel and carbonite drag system. So it's built for some of that stronger fighting fish. You're gonna get drag up to about 28 pounds out of this reel. But you can see that's that hydro block gasket right there. there's a little rubberized gasket that's right at the top of that spool and you can see it right next to that carbon finish i don't know if you can see it in the reflection there but it's a very cool looking spool there's the inside you can see that top drag washer and when you get underneath it doesn't have the dual force drag like some reels do but you're going to get a tremendous amount of drag out of this particular reel as I mentioned, high speed, this one happens to be a 6.2 to one. A lot of, uh, that's, that's why it's the X version, not just an H. So a lot of Okuma's reels, they use, uh, it'd be like a 6,000A, that's just gonna be your standard gear ratio. If it happens to be a 6,000H, that's gonna be high speed, that you might be at that 6 point, uh, 6.0 to one. And then when you get into the X's, which is gonna be their extremely fast reels, they call them, that's your 6.2, 6.4, and even higher. So this one happens to be a 6.2 to one gear ratio. Now working our way down through the reel from the spool, you've got the Cyclonic Flow Rotor. We've talked about this in several of the reels from Okuma, but this one is just a little bit different, a little bit more unique than some of the other reels. Now the Cyclonic Flow Rotor, the theory behind that is every time you crank that handle, it actually wisps some of the liquid or the water that happens to be inside that spool away and it keeps it running a little bit fresher. Now it's all carbon, it's all carbon fiber reel itself. You got the aluminum spool, you got a heavy duty aluminum bale wire, and a screw-in aluminum handle, which we'll get to in just a second. But you got a carbon rotor, you have a carbon body and side plates there. You can see as I'm gonna spin this reel around here, it's got a little bit of a unique body shape to it. You can see that cutout right at the back there. This features the TCA, which is the uh, torsion control armor. So what this is, this is a whole body that actually holds together, kind of like a fork, and it holds everything in alignment, keeping it nice and straight, nice and rigid which is exactly what you want to keep your gears aligned, especially if you're fishing inshore, some bigger fish that will actually pull back. Now that's that carbon body. Now we talked about the aluminum screw in handle design. So like the Samar HD and some of the uh, more expensive reels, it actually has a screw in handle design. So that handle, it actually screws directly out. I don't know if you can see that in there, but you can see that there's larger threading and smaller threading, both on the same shaft there. Now what that happens is you can take it, put it on the regular left side of the reel, or if you wanted to, you can go ahead and put it on the right side of the reel. 
Now with that screw and handle design, it also keeps it very straight, very tight, very rigid. This has that direct screw and handle design, so it's got instant feedback. As soon as you stop spinning, the reel stops spinning. You don't move your handle, it doesn't have any extra play that it's gotta get to, just as soon as you stop, it stops. Now another cool feature is it's got the Ergo Grip T-style handle design on these reels. So it's a nice and comfortable, it's that Ergo Grip technology, very soft, and it's got that nice T feeling to it. They started to introduce that last year on the same RHD reels, but they brought it to this Inspira platform as well. Now these reels are gonna go with a 2000, a 3000, a 4000, and this C5000. Now they call it the C5000 because the C stands for compact, so it's actually a compact body, 5000 size reel. A lot of times once you get above that 4000 size, into the five, you got a lot bigger body, you got a bigger rotor, bigger spool. In this one, you incorporate the large size rotor and the large size spool, but into a compact body design. So it keeps it nice and lightweight and very strong. Like as I mentioned, that TCA body armor there keeps it very lined up and very rigid. You want your stuff lined up, you want your gearing lined up, you don't want anything that's gonna bind or crush or move. When you start getting the flexing in your reel, that's when your, your main gearing is going to flex, it'll touch, it'll slow everything down. Now the key feature for the Inspira ISX-A over the older versions is it's got the flight shaft technology. Now the flight shaft is something that they introduced in the Hakai low profile bait cast reels two years ago, and that's a pinion gear that's actually hollowed out. So it's a dual supported pinion gear, but it's hollowed out in the middle, so it's got zero startup inertia. It doesn't take anything to really start spinning that reel in. Now, a lot of your spinning reels that don't have something similar to that is when you start, it takes just a little bit of force to start your spinning reel. Not a lot, but when you have zero, it makes a big difference. So really, as soon as you start spinning that, you've got everything rolling, everything's running, and you're ready to start fishing. Very cool feature. It's usually found on a lot higher end reels, but the Inspira ISX-A starting at $99.99, you're probably gonna find them for great deals once they start hitting stores. But starting at that 100 bucks to have that technology in it, very cool. But these are awesome little reels. As I mentioned, they started at $100. There's the 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, and that C5000 reel. Very cool. Check them out at your local retailers. They're going to hit it ICAST 2023, and it's a 2024 introduction. So what that means, you'll start seeing them in the stores. I think they're going to start hitting here in the U.S. right about at ICAST time, which is in July. So you'll start trickling into stores right after that. But I appreciate y'all coming by, checking out the new Inspira ISX-A. Do me a favor, hit that like button down below and subscribe to Davies World Fishing in the right-hand corner. We'll see you on the water.